Hi all. Today in this video we will be discussing about the website support in Odoo. So in our earlier video we had displayed a teacher's name and IDs in a blank template without any styles or any decorative features. So Odoo bundles us with a module dedicated for building websites. So we will see how we can use that module in our case so that we can build a website with uh, many additional features so let's get into it so for that inside of first we'll add the website module in our defense so first for that we go to a custom tutorial add-on and inside its manifest in the defense we'll say we'll add the new module that is website so we added the defense for the website Next, inside the controller, we'll have to add the flag website equal to true. So for that, we go to our controller file, and this was the controller we created earlier. So inside this, we'll say website equal to true, so that we can use the website. So we added the website equal to true. So this sets up a new, a few new variables on the request object, and allows us to use the website layout in our templating. So next, as we have added the website equal to true in our controller, we'll change our template using the website layout. So for that, we'll have to go to our templates. Okay, now inside the templates, we'll just rearrange the code a little bit. Okay. First, we'll call the website dot layout, which is the default layout template for our website. So let's say t t call. website dot layout so this will call the template with id layout inside our website module which will con which contains the default hood footer header and other additional features so we are called that next we will set a title that is t t set equal to title we will say Set the title that is teachers. Next, we'll call it div with class OE structure. Inside the div, we'll call a container. And inside this container, we'll define our teacher, I mean, the data to be displayed. So, for that, Let's say t t for each teachers t as equal to teacher. Next, we will display the each teachers data so that we will call a paragraph tag, and inside that we will call. First, we'll display the teacher's ID, teacher.id. Next, we'll call the teacher's name. Okay, so we have come added a basic template using the website.layout model. So we have called the website dot layout and inside that we have added a title and we have displayed the teachers data. So we will now upgrade the module. We will update our module. After the module has been upgraded, we have an option for choosing the themes. We will be redirect to our website main layout. So here we can see that this is the main website layout. And if we go back to the URL which I uh, defined the controller, let's see that is to do real slash teachers. Okay, there was a mistake in the name. I'll correct that. Mm. 
which is teacher dot name. We'll update the module again. Once the module is upgraded, we will say we will go back to the URL again. That is tutorial. So now we can see that we have got the uh, default code, header, the footer, the menu items, and all. So with just calling the uh, website dot layout, we can have the full features of the website here. So here we can say if you want to edit the website, we have an option for editing here. So if we click on the edit button, it will launch the editor options which we can drag and drop here and build our website. And similarly, we have an option for customizing with other features that is <coughs> we can have the uh, HTML CSS JS editor. So with which we can change the HTML structure and other details. Similarly. We can add the CSS, the JavaScript, etc. Also, we have the basic photo structure, which also we can customize the menu items. If we click on the pages, we have, we have an option for editing the menu. We have an option for managing the pages, and also bundles with the features of uh, for signing and logging out and all the details. So this is about the website support in Odoo. I hope you understood the video. Thank you.